the year of the sorrow. In the following year, back to back to back calamities hit Prophet Muhammad within two months. Prophet Muhammad's beloved uncle Abu Talib, who had been protecting him against his enemies, felt sick and was reaching his death. When Abu Talib was about to die, Prophet Muhammad entered the room while Abu Jahl was there, the enemy of Islam, along with another. Prophet Muhammad said to his uncle Abu Talib, O oh, my uncle, say there is no deity worthy of worship except Allah. Abu Talib was about to say it, but every time he was about to say it, Abu Jahl would say, Are you going to leave the religion of your father? Later, Abu Talib sadly passed away without converting to Islam. About 40 days after that, the Prophet's wife Khadija, peace be upon her, who was a huge support of him, died as well. It was known as the year of the sorrow, a very tough and sad year for the Prophet, peace be upon him. Prophet Muhammad was not seen smiling for months. Later, Prophet Muhammad and his adopted son Zayd traveled to a town called Ta'if to spread the message of Islam and to find protection and support from another city, only to receive disrespect and refusal. They also pelted him with stones, leaving them bloody and then asked them to return to Mecca. It was Prophet Muhammad's most difficult day of his life. Prophet Muhammad needed to migrate to another city for protection. He was secretly reaching out to different tribes on the outskirts of Mecca to spread the message of Allah and find a tribe that would welcome him in their land and support him. Prophet Muhammad approached five people from the city of Yathrib, later to be called Medina, and conveyed the message of God to them. They went back to their city and spread the news among their people that a prophet had arisen among the Arabs, who was to call them to God and put an end to the worship of their false gods. Later, Prophet Muhammad concluded a marriage contract with Aisha, peace be upon